I think you kind of answered this question, Gary, but let me read it because Lee was kind enough to post this um, on LinkedIn. So thank you, Lee. Um, I grew up hearing that in business, bigger is better. I run a small business which is made much easier thanks to Xero. So I'm guessing, Lee, you're a, a Xero client. More and more apps make it easier to start up and run your own business. So do you think the future belongs to the small or the big? But, uh, small. Completely the small. I think we're in a, com- a different world of... of um, 30, 40 years ago, um, it was all about economies of scale. It was all about, well, bigger is better. And the more people you have, the more scale you can bring to a problem, the lower your prices could be, the more competitive you are, the, the more people you could service was a function of scale. We're a very physical kind of business world. I think, and, I, and it's not, it's, I read an article the other, the other week, and, and I love this concept of it's no longer about economies of scale, it's economies of scope. And so it's about, well, well what do you want to do with your service? It, how big you are is no, is no longer the single kind of defining factor that says whether you're going to be successful or not, or whether you're going to compete globally or not. It's how smart are you running your business, how digital are you, what do you actually want to achieve? And, and now it's about economies of scope and not economies of scale. And, and every business, regardless of whether they're a startup or whether they employ 10 or 100 people, have the opportunity, should they want to do it, to compete with any size of company. Um, because it's no longer bigger is better and mm. brute force mm. and, 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 and the, the weight of an organization's resources and how much capital they have to invest in all this physical kind of infrastructure just to compete. It no longer applies in the same way. 